Hi, this is Severin from the 3D Applications team. Welcome back to the Image Stack Processing tutorial. The Image Stack Processing Workroom is a very intuitive and optimized 2D setup to enhance and segment data in Aviso and Amira. In the introductory lesson, you should have learned how to access the workroom, use the viewers, add and modify steps. In this lesson, you will learn how to change a reference, insert steps, inspect a different slice of the data. In the previous lesson, we created a mask of the NowGet face in the candy bar. We will now use it to segment the porosity within the NowGet face. Let's see how to change the reference within the workflow. Now that we have a mask of the NowGet face, we can reuse our initial thresholding done at step 3 to capture the porosity within the NowGet. One of the general rules of the workroom is that the primary data of a selected tool automatically connects to the preceding output. Here we need the last output to be the output of step 3, thresholding. To this end, click on the plus button next to insert a reference change step in the workflow panel. This inserts a new step. The step is preceded with the warning icon because it is not yet set. We need to select the data directly from the workflow panel. The available list presents the data created during the workflow. Each data is preceded with the number corresponding to the step the output comes from. In this case, we select 3 thresholding. Once the reference port is set, the warning icon disappears. We can now continue with the workflow in a new branch starting from the output of the thresholding module. Invert the selection to select pores with the invert module. Mask out anything outside the NowGet face with a mask using our initial created mask. In this last added step, we can see that our mask is too large. The workflow could benefit from some improvements. In image style processing, it is easy to tweak and test variations within a workflow. First, we set up the viewers, so we see the effect of a particular step on the final workflow output. We set the left view combo box to step output and the right view combo box to workflow output. We select step 7, erosion, by clicking on the workflow panel. Using the mouse wheel, we increase the value of the size port incrementally. The border slowly disappears until only the pores remain in the workflow output. The final value is set to 13. Go back to the mask step by clicking on it in the workflow panel. We set the left view combo box back to step input. We add a labeling module to label pores. We will now modify the workflow by inserting steps. For the tutorial, we want to clean up porosity and create an inverted NowGet mask. The previous workflow classifies pores within the NowGet phase individually. Some very small pores could be considered as noise because they were included in the threshold to remove noisy data. We can try improving the workflow by inserting a noise removal module before thresholding. Insertion of tools within an existing workflow must always be done below the selected step. Therefore, we select step 2 and insert a median filter before the thresholding. A new median filtering step is inserted below the convert image type step and before the thresholding step. After lowering iterations to 1 and changing type port to disk, only the major pores now remain in the selection. We set the viewers back to default. To go on with the workflow, we also need an inverted mask of the NowGet phase to capture the caramel phase and ensure no overlap between the two phases. We select step 8, erosion, and invert the selection by inserting an invert step just before changing the reference. We will now change the input slice of the workflow in order to inspect other parts of the stack and check if the workflow needs improvements. For the tutorial, we will create a mask of the caramel phase. Select step 13, labeling. Create a new reference step by clicking the plus button next to insert a reference change step in the workflow panel and set it to step 2. Add a non-local mean filter to reduce noise while retaining particle age contrast to ease caramel selection. Set mode to GPU standard. 
enhance several contrasts to facilitate caramel selection with a normalized grayscale. Set range mode to other. Input range is set to 100, 160. Output range to 0, 150. Roughly select pixels belonging to caramel with a thresholding module. Set intensity range to 54, 98. Delete the selection to join disconnected features and smooth boundaries with a deletion module. Set the type to disk and set size to 3. At this stage, the selection looks good on the current slice, but it might suffer from artifacts on a different slice. To further inspect the workflow and check if it is valid on every slice of the staked data, we can change the slice on which the workflow is applied. Move the preview workflow on image slider of the workflow panel to slice 135. We see a spot that still remains after deletion. This artifact can be removed by inserting a Remove Small Holes module with a size of 200. Erode the selection with a size of 7. Select size 283. There are some remaining spots here as well. Add a Remove Small Spots module with size set to 200. Add a deletion module to redelate the caramel selection and go back to the original shape, but this time without the artifacts that we just removed within the morphological steps. Set the size to 6 and type to disk. Finally, we subtract the nugget selection from the caramel to ensure that there is no overlap between the two. To do so, we add a mask module where the binary image is step 9, invert. The caramel phase is now selected in addition to the no-good phase. To finalize the workflow, we set up each classified chocolate phase, pores, nugget and caramel within the same label. To do so, we add an image arithmetic step with the formula A plus 2 times B plus 3 times C. The finalized segmented chocolate looks like this. As a summary, in these first lessons, you should have learned how to access the image type processing workroom, use the viewers, add and modify steps, change the reference, insert steps, inspect a different slice of the data. In the last lesson, we will see how to save the image type processing recipe and quit the workroom, export multiple outputs, remove or replace steps and manage errors, add external inputs to the workflow, export workflow parameters, use the image type processing recipe from the project room. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. I hope to see you back again soon. Goodbye.